and welcome back to the Sonic CD Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to go and try get us back to the past of Quartz Quadrant Act 2 and, of course, get through Wacky Workbench. Ugh. This one has been a bit more of a pain, Act 2, it really is. Ugh. Mostly because of this uh, system being a bit, you know, undilutalizing. And un it's a doozing as well. Ugh. Also, I had to die because I was wasting too much time, so what I had to do was to actually uh, drop it back to re restart the recording and drop it back to where, to the checkpoint where I was. So, that being said, we decided to, you know, get to that past the banner and let's try and get that as much as possible. And I also need 50 weeks to get to a special stage, but you know, that's always an obvious answer. <sighs> The big thing is I actually like the uh, present music of Quartz Quadrant as well. It's quite relax it's quite uh, cheery though. And it's quite upbeat as well. So um, my only other option to doing to getting to the past, if I do actually fail, is to try and conserve it. The only thing way to actually try and get to the past is using a is using that speed shoot running that but speed shoot power up. There. Where can I get that? Boring. Can't, can't get under there, so. There we go. There's our speed sheet power up. Let's get to the past. And of course, that transport. That transport. That, of course, that tube actually helped as well. So we're at the past as well. Right, let's go and find that robot transporter. That robot transporter I know is in the second hallway because of the. Um, because I actually saw it. There we go. That, uh, that conveyor belt tube actually made me go through that. It actually made Sonic's spin attack really go through that transporter and destroy it. Good job, Sonic. Well, at least the uh, designers didn't really do much of a bad job of this game. Yeah. Oh, I nearly got 100 rings as well. Ugh, oh no, that didn't really work, so at least we might as well finish it right now. Now, of course, in the past, it, this whole thing is cave, our caves, but it was eroded in the present, so at least we did a good future as well. Alright, let's try and get that Chaos Emerald that I failed to get earlier on. Oh, Acid Trip again. Ugh. You know, sometimes I can't even imagine that the UFOs are quite reluctant and pretty stupid. Well, mostly the AIs are real. The AI is just so bad. <sighs> I don't. Re the reason that's the real reason. Oh, well, thank God this, this did not return in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. They actually managed to do the Blue Sphere stage, which is much better in my opinion. Ugh, I hate the I hate these special stages. They really do nothing but piss me off. Okay, I will admit the I will admit the later I will admit the uh, early ones aren't that bad, but the ones the, the later ones they just really piss me off. I actually do admit that. I actually own up to saying that because they because they do nothing but annoy you, annoy the hell out of me. There we go. Time is running out, and oh yes, I've got it. And no, that timer UFO does not count, because it will only extend your time, but it doesn't count towards the amount of UFOs you should destroy in order to get that time stone. So there are four rings for UFOs and two ones that actually increase Sonic's speed for a short burst of time. Okay, without a time stone got that I've gotten. Let's go defeat Robotnik again. So now the boss state the boss stage in this game actually is quite interesting because it has a much more unique way of defeating the boss. Let's get that. There's of course um, a couple of item rate stages that no, I can't get those. And why is that? Why is this boss interesting? Because he's on a conveyor belt, and you have to run it in order to cause so much friction in order to defeat the boss. 
you don't have to, there's no cockpit action. So, at least that's good. No, no, no. Oh, that was my fault. Then you can see at the top left, you can actually see the speed of the conveyor. How the the conveyor is going. Do this enough, actually, run enough speed, and you can actually uh, destroy this boss in no time. But you still got that bomb to look out for, because if you if you get that that bomb, Robotnik will try and get that bomb to try and stop you from destroying Robotnik. Yeah, I lost my rings again. But that doesn't matter because he was on the verge of being defeated again. And where is he going? Robotnik, you run away like a total pansy. Ugh. Now here is where I could do another jump cut because I fail at some of these surf uh, stages. So, jump cut time. <laughs> and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Wacky Workbench. Ugh. In the, in the same video that I recorded the rest of Quartz Quadrant in, I kept uh, getting stuck on this stage because of this fucking conveyor belt! And because of these fucking enemies as well! Ugh. Sorry about the swearing, but I'm really irate on the, these enemies. They really piss me off in this stage. All because they're just... Ah! Uh, like that, they're all just too damn cheap because of this conveyor belt! And the electricity of this one really pisses me off as well. Ugh. This really is... what well, I don't... The only good thing about this stage is, of course, the uh, music. Especially the present part of this ge part of this game. I do will admit so I actually like the... Uh, I do actually... Um, I do actually own up and admit that I actually like the music of this stage in both the Japanese and the... European soundtrack, Japanese and US soundtracks. I do actually like, which is that because both are pretty cool. This one for being more techno, more well known for being part of the uh, the. If you're into a factory, this actually does it. Do oh for God's sake! And this is what I like about this music is, of course, how good the factory music actually feels like. Not do very well, aren't I? So I had to die there. And start over from the beginning of the stage. Like I said, this the music actually gives an incredible feeling of you being in a factory full of robots that Robotnik is creating. Yeah, kind of a bit, bit like uh, the Sat AM series, where Robotnik starts to roboticize the animals. This is pretty much a bit like that. So with that being said, we're going to go and try and see if we can get to 50 rings and get to the end of the stage. Also, what I like about the um, the, uh, the US soundtrack is that it does actually feel a bit jazzy and electronic-y and new wavy in the US soundtrack. But I will admit to saying that I actually like the US and Japanese versions of the music of this one. Especially this, because this is the Japanese version. Oh, there was an invincibility there as well, so I didn't really notice that in the in my previous part attempt. So. Well, let's go up and stop these enemies. But what I do is I should not get hit. Because that's going to be a disaster if I do get hit. Okay, so I need to take it steady and easy in this stage. Because one small mistake and I will kiss that chance of getting that last, you know... Again. Time stone go will kiss that last time stone chance goodbye. Well, that was a lucky stroke. I don't care if I'm going in the bad future because I'm because I'm in this part I will definitely get that uh, time stone in this part as well, so hopefully that will be the end of this. Thank god. Well at least I'll be getting a lot of rings as well. But one thing I don't really, but this was the one thing I don't really like about this level is that both the enemy layout and the conveyor belt that launches you up in the air consistently. Well, at least, well, at least, um, at least the um, plot. Uh, it's only in Act One. This is the gripe I had in Act One and partially Act Two. But at least Act Three is more trouble-free because it's only the boss area. 
Okay, with that being said, we've finally got through Act 1, so let's go and get that final time stone, shall we? <sighs> this is really, really, really bad. This is really getting uh, harder as well. That's why I don't really like um, Wacky Work Wedge. I will say Sonic CD isn't a bad game overall. It's, uh, do, uh, well, other than that, it's still a great, it's a great game. But to be fairly honest, I actually think that it's this stage that really makes me think that Sonic CD wasn't as well received as Sonic as the original two games, Sonic One and Sonic Two. And, it, and, so, and, I, and, I, and I actually can see Sonic 3 and Knuckles were better received by fans than this game. Although I do actually admit this game actually is good, it's, it's a great game, so at least I actually do actually have some fun with it, whilst it lasts. I do actually think this is time travel done right, unlike a certain game that so many people despise. But I know that's a very obvious answer, but you know, it's quite good. And yes! We got all the time stones! What I would say is that Sonic 06 was a decent game, it's a decent game, but it just has a ton of flaws that held it back from it, the other 3D games that were better than it. And once you got all the time stones, you pretty much have completed the game. If you don't fancy getting all the transporters. If you got them all, that means you get the best and you get the good ending of the game. So that's great. Pretty much like in the other Sonic games where you get all the Chaos Emeralds, you get the good ending. Ooh, look at that! Sonic goes! And after, and like what you see, and like what you've heard of this, you actually get to hear some added sound effects from the other Sonic games, like the laser shoot from Sonic 3, and the, and the plunger, and the plunger sound effects from Sonic 2, which I've seen with that, uh, you know, launcher. Now we go into the past of uh, Wacky Workbench. Ooh, look at this. So the past version of Wacky Workbench is in a construction work when the factory was in progress of being built. At least it's got some good settings there. At least the music is quite upbeat and cheery as well. Oh, that, this was actually pretty. I actually love the music from the Japanese soundtrack because. It's just what is considered to be a very good, feel-good soundtrack. To me, that is. Although I will admit the US soundtrack did have a few good tracks on it, it just didn't feel as good as the Japanese soundtrack. And of course, Act 2 is done. Oh, it was more straightforward this time around, thanks to me not having to worry about getting the time stones. Okay, so with that being said, let's get on with the boss now. Maggie Workbench, Act 3. So with that being said, it's boss time, and we all know what's going to come up in this boss. Once you get a good future, it's all happy, a happy toy land. And look at that, swallows! Well, don't even get me started on Wave, because she's so bad. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, oh, it's, that was my computer acting up again. Ouch! Oh, that I wasn't paying attention there. Sorry about that. Ooh. This boss, you have to beat him about four times. Whenever you whenever you go through the breakable sections and hit him, he'll just break the ceiling above you. And you have to go on one of these platforms in order to reach him. You'll do this three more times. You do this three times, or when you do get rid of him the fourth time, like this one, when you get the third time, he will break his spikes, which will try to... Uh, hit you and whenever you get it on one of the platform it won't go up as high as others because of the pressure and when you defeat Robotnik that means you have actually defeated his boss for good and it will block the floor as well oh he escaped oh I forgot to get rid of that uh, transporter that holds the flowers Anyway, with that being said, we've done Wacky Work Bench. It wasn't as problematic as I thought it would be, but still, Act 1 was a pain because I would need to get those time stones. So, Act 2 was much more straightforward, though. Anyway, welcome to my favourite zone in the entire game, Stardust Speedway. I absolutely love this zone because of its music. Even though it's more of an adrenaline-filled ride, it's absolutely amazing. 
I'm going to go to the future as well. Whee! I love Wacky Stardust Speedway. Better than what? Much way better than Wacky Workbench because it's much more. The, the atmosphere is much more cheery. The the whole entire zone is much more speed oriented, which Sonic would, which is Sonic is partly mostly, which is part, which Sonic is partly made of speed, but mostly his uh, game is consists of being a platformer. Oh, two, I got two, and look at that, two invincibilities. How cool is that? How incredibly convenient is that? We. And going through this very fast is just absolute an adrenaline, like an adrenaline rush. Pure adrenaline at the w most extreme. I love this game. Ooh, that was lucky. So that will take me to, and it took me straight to the goal as well. That was fantastic. Act one completed. That was the future as well because I got all seven of the time stones. The good future consists of a carnival setting, which is so fan, which is so beautifully and eye candy. Well, thanks to the CD technology of it all, and because the spriting with for Sega was still being incredibly good. Now for the, now it's time to go off to the to the past. Uh, I need to use my spin dash to get up there because my super pilotor and six failed. Uh, oh, I still got the past thing, so let's go through that. Boing, 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 boing. You'll hear that in the present time, and of course, you hear that in the past music too. <laughs> uh, this is, that, that's, that's great, isn't it? No, I'm not going back to the present because I want to see how the future, how the past is, how the past looks like. To be honest, I absolutely enjoy the music of Sonic CD. It's just absolutely incredible. Well, the Japanese version of it, actually. Because the Europeans used to have this in the original, but when it, Gems Collection was remastered, was released with the remastered Sonic CD, it had the United States soundtrack instead of the actual Japanese soundtrack. Now with this remaster, it is actually done. It has both soundtracks in, so at least gamers will know which soundtrack is better for them. I absolutely think the physics were better refined in this uh, version than in the original. All well, thanks to Christian Whitehead. And Act 2 is completed as well. Well, that was done. Now, with that being done, let's... With that being done, we're going to be taking a break. So, with that being said, I'm Mitch McKidd, and I'll see you guys next time for when we take on Sonic, Metal Sonic, and go through the final zone of the game, Metallic Madness. So, toodles for now.